there may be a blueprint for defeating John Jones. The current UFC heavyweight champion and former two-time light heavyweight champion is known for being one of the most dominant fighters in MMA history. With a record of 27-1-1, Jones is renowned for his unique blend of wrestling and striking inside the octagon. However, according to a former training partner of Daniel Cormier, his longtime rival, there is a way to overcome Bones. In his appearance on the JRE, Joe Rogan Experience, MMA show number 150, Cormier revealed that there was one Russian wrestler who would have demolished every UFC fighter in his weight class. And in a recent statement, the same wrestler has broken down the strategy that can be used to defeat John Jones. Among the notable Russian wrestlers he has had the pleasure of training and competing against, Cormier spotlighted Kods Himurat Gatsilov, who had defeated him in the Olympic semifinals and later clinched a gold medal in Athens 2004. Gatsilov, currently the head coach for the Russian national freestyle team, also played a crucial role in Cormier's preparation for a significant clash with John Jones in 2014. As such, in a recent conversation shared by RedCorner.MMA on Instagram, Gatsilov was asked his thoughts on how to end Jones' winning streak that has lasted longer than some MMA fighters' careers. He stated, he has a great wrestling background, he's good at positional wrestling, he's very stable. So I believe it would be a bad idea to play clinch games with him, get into wrestling exchanges, you need to take him down right away. Because he is a very tenacious athlete. When asked how Gatsilov would attempt to take Jones down, he revealed, a double leg is best against him. In conclusion, Gatsilov's wrestling expertise offers valuable insights into the tactical considerations required when facing an opponent of John Jones' caliber. The emphasis on early and precise takedowns reveals a strategic approach that aspiring fighters might also find beneficial in the challenging landscape of mixed martial arts. And while his former training partner may have shared a game plan to topple Jones' reign, Cormier recently found himself engaged in a verbal back and forth with his rival, yet again. Daniel Cormier and John Jones recently engaged in a verbal spar regarding their UFC legacies. In response to recent revelations about uncovered text messages from 2014, Cormier had labeled Jones a bad employee. The texts involved former UFC chairman Lorenzo Fertitta and future UFC CEO Dana White calling Jones several unkind words including, punk. As such Jones had fired back, accusing Cormier of bitterness due to Jones defeating him twice in their careers. But in a recent video on his YouTube channel, Cormier clarified his statements by revealing, if I could say 100 things about him positively, he hangs on to the negative things but I wasn't talking about him directly. I was talking about in business, you have employees in your businesses, sometimes things go sideways with the employees. He also emphasized that his job is to provide insights into mixed martial arts, irrespective of personal beef. Despite Jones' much publicized legal issues, Cormier acknowledged his importance to the UFC. Ultimately, the exchange between Cormier and Jones serves as a reminder of the intricacies within the world of professional fighting, where personal and professional dynamics often intersect.